Okay, so hopefully you finished the ggplot introduction tutorial. Now I just made this video for the purpose of showing you a few common errors that I notice a lot of folks do, including myself from time to time. And um, I'm highlighting these because they can be kind of frustrating and agonizing to debug, especially when you're a new coder. So let's just talk about um, some things to, to keep in mind. The first thing is just remembering to library um, the package tidyverse, or you could technically library ggplot2. That would, that would be enough to, to run a ggplot. But tidyverse has um, several other packages included. It's a package of packages. Um, we're going to be using more than one this semester, so just to make things easy and consistent, we'll just always library tidyverse. Um, and I'll show you what happens if you don't do that because you will almost surely see this message at some point this semester. Error in ggplot could not find function ggplot. So when you see that error, it almost always means you just forgot to load the package. And another thing to keep in mind is that you have to library the package every new session of R, meaning that if you close RStudio and then open it up again, or maybe you close your computer and open it up again, you're gonna have to library it again. Um, you can't just pick up where you left off. So, so remember to do that first, get this little message down here, and then run your plot, and hopefully everything works there. Um, a couple other things. Um, the first line of your ggplot should have um, two parentheses, two, sorry, two open and two closed parentheses. It's very common to forget that last closed parenthesis because you don't think about it at the end, and so if you do that, you're going to get that little lingering plus sign in the console, meaning that you have to either close that out, like you have to know what's wrong with it. Um, so in this case, I could theoretically just close that out. I get an error, but I do get it to clear back to the, the sideways carrot ready for new code. It erred because my parentheses are in the wrong place. I put that closing parenthesis way over here instead of over here. Um, the other option is if you're not really sure what the error is from, you can always go to session up here restart R, and that should clear out your console. That does also clear out your global environment. It also clears out any packages you've loaded. So whenever you do that, just make sure you um, reload the package again and then run your plot again. Although in this case, I forgot to add that plus sign again, so I do need to um, fix that. So I will do that now. Uh, hopefully that works again. Another common error is leaving a lingering plus sign at the end of your last line, but then having nothing coming after it. So if you happen to do that, um, that's it's going to get the same error here, so I can I can probably get that to happen, and there we go. And then in some cases, it's just as simple as running a closed parenthesis or something, or just restarting your session. Um, also, notice these indentions here. So let's say that I forgot to include a parenthesis. So let's say I forgot to do this, and I was writing code. Notice that it doesn't indent that line automatically, and that's ours little kind of cue for you, um, or at least our studio's cue for you that, that maybe something is missing. Um, so you can always fix that. Let's say that you ran this code um, and you didn't have that plus sign. Um, you might see something like this. In this case, I think it just gives you an error saying cannot add ggproto objects together. And that's because it cannot add them because you did not tell it to add them. Um, that's what that error message means. Now, if you forget it between, say, like lines two and three, this is a non-essential line of code. Like, I need both of these lines of code to produce anything, but I don't technically need the labs line um, for this code to process. So if I theoretically, um, if I were to run this code, I would get the plot, but notice that I get some funky stuff going on here in the console because R is interpreting this line separate from the rest of this code. It's just kind of running this as information, but it's not applying my title and my my X label to the plot. So, so that's that might be why that's happening. If not all your features are showing up, you might just be missing a plus sign to connect them all in. Um, let's see, what else do I want to mention here? Um, oh, I do want to mention this function is called ggplot. It's not called ggplot2. That's the name of the, the package, but the function itself is just ggplot. Um, one other thing that I'll mention, this is more just kind of a suggestion about um, how you code, is I always suggest kind of starting from the basic and adding on. So this is not going to be a big deal to start because you're going to be making some fairly simple plots. You're not going to have a lot of features. But as the semester goes on, you're going to be adding more features. You're going to be adding theme elements, and you're going to be adding scale elements. You know, you're going to be scaling the x-axis to go at a particular um, let's see, like 0 to 20,000, 
let's see, by 2000. You're gonna be adding some color, you know, some manual color, right? And so if I start my plot and I try to add all these features and then I run it and try to figure out what's wrong, it's gonna be a lot harder to debug that code than if I just start literally as basic as I can and just make sure this works. Make sure I have the right variable in the right place. If I'm trying to color by a variable, maybe I do that as a second step. You know, maybe I just start with the basics and then add the color as a second step. Then I add, um, then I add my, my labels as a third step, right? So just get in that habit of going kind of one line at a time, make sure it works. If something doesn't work, it's a lot simpler to debug than if you're starting from five, six, seven, eight lines of code. All right, so that's all that I have for you in this video, um, but hopefully you have some success on this next lab, um, and feel free to reach out to us with questions.